Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another Grounded Survival Guide video, and today I want to talk about the most powerful weapon currently in the game. This is a Tier 3 weapon, as you guys may or may not know. Supposedly, only Tier 1 and 2 items are in the game, but that's not entirely true. This is a Tier 3 weapon, and what we're talking about today is, of course, the Mint Mallet. As you guys can see, the Mint Mallet is a really cool weapon. It actually looks like a giant club with, uh, like a breath mint on top there. It's just a really cool weapon. I really love it. It's actually one of my favorite weapons that I've used in the game. I'm a huge fan of the Ant Club, and this is kind of the evolution of the Ant Club. And it's just overall a really great weapon. Look at this damage. Look at this stun. Who cares about the speed? You've got a full stun bar here. You've got almost full damage. It's absolutely incredible. So you may be asking yourself, how do I get the Mint Mallet? And that's a really good question. The Mint Mallet doesn't naturally show up in your workbench, you're not gonna get it from Burgle. What you're gonna have to do is actually find the mint chunks themselves, and that will unlock the plans for the mint mallet. Now, the mints aren't exactly hard to find. They're just slightly northwest of the mysterious machine. But getting the mints is a different story entirely. What you need to do is open up the mint container right at the front, whack it with a weapon, doesn't matter really what you whack it with, an amp club, an ax, doesn't matter, and inside you will see a mint blocking your way. Now you do need a tier two hammer to get to that mint. To unlock the insect hammer pattern, you're going to need to kill bombardier beetles, and that is no easy feat. I highly recommend using something like an ant club to take on a bombardier beetle. They are incredibly challenging. I'm using either bee armor or grub armor to take them on. I am definitely taking damage. They will shoot out a toxin, which is incredibly damaging to your character. Have bandages on you, be ready to move. That is the key to killing bombardier beetles, being ready to move to the sides, strafing left and right to avoid that acidic poison. Now, if you haven't seen our other video on how to get berries, I highly recommend you check that out. Getting berries isn't exactly hard. There are spiders in the southeastern corner of the lawn by the hedgerow. That's where you need to go. You'll want a bow to take with you so you can knock the berries down. But like I said, check out the video we have on our channel. It's very short, I promise you guys. It'll show you everything you need to know about getting berries. Now, once you have all of your parts, the stink bug parts, the berry leather, the boiling gland, you are ready to make that insect hammer. And that's what you need because it's a tier two hammer and that's going to allow you to break the mints. You go back to the mint container, use your insect hammer, start smacking the mints. You're gonna wanna pick up every mint that's in there. Who knows, you may need to make a second mint mallet for a friend, something like that. There are no other mints as far as I can tell in the backyard, so grab the mints while you can, take them back to your base and make sure you store them in a nice safe place. Once you have that, the rest of the materials are really easy to get. You need spider silk, so hopefully you're at the point where you're killing spiders, getting spider silk. If you're not ready to kill spiders, this is going to be a very challenging thing to do. Flower petals you can get over by the pond. Anywhere there's flowers, you can jump up on the leaves, smack the flowers, and you will get petals. And then, of course, you'll need your five mint chunks. You should have 20 mint chunks total by the time you're done with that entire pack of mints. So you can make at least four of these mint mallets if you want. Remember, you can also repair your items. You don't have to make new ones, so don't waste your mints if you don't need to. Who knows what other items they're gonna put in the game that require mints. At the end of the day, guys, the Mint Mallet is an absolutely incredible weapon. It does so much damage. The stun effect is crazy. You can take out spiders in just a few hits, and that is really important because you're going to be fighting spiders a lot. Who knows what other enemies they're going to put in the game. Of course, there are so many things that they can do because it's the backyard. There's so many different insects and animals and creatures that they could put into the game, and you're going to want to have this Mint Mallet as soon as humanly possible. Yes, it requires a little bit of farming. Yes, it requires you to fight some spiders. But at the end of the day, this is going to carry you through the rest of the game as we wait for more content from the Grounded team. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick survival guide. If you want more survival guide content in your feed, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, folks, my name is Kodiak. And on behalf of Livid and myself, thanks for watching and play on.